Hi everybody, this is Thierry from Headway Rocket. The tutorial today is about the gallery block which was launched last week. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the basics. I'm not going to go into detail through all the options. We're mainly going to see how to add albums in WordPress and then we're going to build a full-on gallery in Headway and see how the different views react on different pages. Once the gallery block is installed, you'll see a gallery tab here on the left hand side and if I hover over it, then I see add new album. My first album is going to be called Food. I've added the title and then I can just click on add image. The gallery block uses the new WordPress media library. I have my folder ready and my food images here. So I simply drag the images. Once all the images are uploaded, I just make sure that they're all selected and I simply click on select. My images are added to the album and from there there are three actions we can take on the images. First of all, we can reorder the images by simply dragging and dropping them. And then there's the edit button and I could rename my image. And the last action is to remove an image from the gallery and as an example I'm on the food album and I have a picture of animals so I can simply click on the trash and it takes the image away. I'm also going to add a description and because the description is quite long a read more tag and I'm done with my first album. I'm going to add the two other albums now. Alright, I've added the other two albums, Animals and Nature, so we're ready to go and build our full on gallery. The block is composed of three different views, the albums view, the album view and the media view. The albums view will show you all the albums closed, the album view will show you the album open and the media view will show you the individual image. So to start with, I'm going to draw a block on the blog index. And I'm going to change the view to albums view. From there, I'm going to draw a block on the album post type. So I save and go to the album post type. Just a quick tip here. We have had a few people asking us, do you have to draw a block on each album? The answer is no. If you draw a block on the album parents, anything you assign here will apply to all the children which doesn't have a layout assigned. So I don't have to add a block on each and every page. Here I'm drawing a block. And this time, on these pages, I want to see the albums open. So I'll leave it to album view. And what it's going to do is, every time I go to an album page, it will show the individual album. So if I go to the animals page, it will only show the animals album. It is not going to show all the albums, even though I've drawn a block on the album post type, which is the parent. If I wanted a specific layout for nature, for example, then I will draw a block on the nature page, and it will show whatever I've assigned to it. And all the other empty pages, the fallback will be whatever I've assigned to the album post type. All right, so I can save. And the last block I'm going to draw is the media post type. Same thing applies. You don't have to go and draw a block on each and every image. You can just draw a block on the media post type and that will apply to all the children. On the media post type, the album and albums view are not available. The reason being is because we only want to show the individual image. I can save. So just a summary of what we have done so far. We've drawn a gallery block on the blog index, which will show all the albums close. From there, it will link to the album page, showing the album open. From there, it will link to the image page, which will show the individual image. Let's see if we got it right. View the site. So on my blog index, I have my three album clothes, nature, animals, and food. If I click on animals, it takes me to the animals album, and it shows me all the images and the full description. 
And then if I click on the thumbnail, it takes me to the media image where we have drawn the block and chose the media view. Back on the blog index, just a small tip. If I wanted to show the teaser description, I can simply open the block option and then under the content tab, I would show image description. And the reason why it's called image description is because it will be sitting under the image. So if I refresh, I can now see the description with the read more tag. I didn't add a description to nature on purpose. And again, if I click on view album, it will take me to the appropriate album and show me all the images. Back in the visual editor, I just want to show you on the block index, if I change to the album view, what is going to happen. And for that, I'm going to design mode. So I see my three albums and I'm quickly going to change the ordering because the first one doesn't have a description. So ordering and I quickly change the order to ascending. So on the blog index, if I change the view to album, it is going to show me all the albums and it will show me the read more tag and it will still link to the individual album. So if I save and reload the blog index, it is now showing me all the albums, but because I have chosen the album view, they are all open. However, if I click on the view album, it will take me to the individual page and show me the full description and only this album. So I hope you see the difference of the album view. If it's not on the album post type, it will show all the albums open. If it's on the album post type, it will show the appropriate album. It's not going to show me all the albums. Another type of usage would be to limit the image to only three, for example. And if I save and view the page, now I still see all my albums, but they only show three images. So for example, someone would want to see the full album, it will take me to the individual album showing all the images. Now that we have the base structure of our gallery, I want to show you that to expand it, it's just a matter of adding albums. And for that, I've added the student's album. And in the design mode, where it was previously showing me only the three albums, I'm simply going to refresh. And it shows me the added album, which is students, and still the other three. There's a lot of layouts option which I'm not going to go through in this tutorial as this is purely the basics but if I wanted to have four columns I would simply open the options and in the grid mode change to four columns. From there it will follow the same structure as what we set. So if I view the page on the blog index I have my four albums and if I click on students it takes me to the students page with all the thumbnails and if I click on an image it will take me to the individual image and allow me to go next and previous through the whole album. As simple as that you could add 10-20 albums and you will still follow this structure without adding any blocks in a headway. So if you are building websites for clients they could add the albums on their own and not touch anything in a headway. That's it for today. Next up, we'll be adding more tutorials on how to use the slider, how to use the hover effect, how to use the light box, how to use the links and custom links, and much more. See you next time. Bye-bye.